This is 12 years old. This is only 23 years old. Big difference, right? Hey everyone, it's me, Lionel Lau, the founder of Dineout.com, and you're back for another episode of Makan and Wine. As you know, in this Makan and Wine, we always pair local food and we try to find the wines that can go with it, right? Uh, that matches it, that, that works with it. So, uh, before we move on to the dish today, a quick shout out to our glass sponsors, Short Swizzle the fine crystal glasses from Germany. Now, the dish we have today is classic Teochew or Chiu Zhao, as they call it in Cantonese, Chao Zhou. And one of the top 10 dishes that they would be famous for is their brine meat or their braised meat. And it's, uh, it has, it's done in this master brace, in this master stock. And it's usually you will have duck pork belly, some tofu, and they'll braise the egg as well. And you have it in classic Teochew style, you will be having this with congee, plain congee. And this is what I consider a classic Teochew dish. And I think today I have two very, very interesting wines. Uh, one, it's actually from one of my personal favorite uh, wineries. Uh, in Spain. The winery is called La Rioja Alta and it's named after the area Rioja Alta where they produce probably some of, if not the most elegant wines in Rioja. And they they have been making wines for a long time and it's 100% Tempranillo, uh, the grape of Spain. Uh, very, very similar to Bordeaux, very elegant, aromatic. And I think this wine works with game, uh, like duck, and uh, with braise and even roast meats, right? So let's give it a try. Uh, La Rioja Alta, and oh, the great thing about Rioja wines is that they have a classification which is quite easy to understand, right? They start with their most basic, Tinto, then their Crianza, but the ones that you need to remember are the Reserva and the Grand Reserva wines. So in the Reserva wines, when they have Reserva in Rioja, it literally means the wine has spent at least one year in an oak barrel and two years in a bottle before it's actually released. So at least three years of aging before the wine is released out. So this Vina Adanza from La Rioja Alta, when they released this out, it was already more than five years old actually. That's a minimum what I mentioned about the one year and two years. So this is already a 2010, which is fantastic. The wine has got that age and it's evolved, right? And their Grand Reserva, when you see a Grand Reserva on a real Ha'a wine, it means that it spends at least minimum two years in oak and three years in a bottle before it's released. Five years. And both this wine, Reserva and Grand Reserva, means they choose their best grapes. And chances are, you will only find a Grand Reserva released maybe seven, eight years old before it's released. And it's great. They have aged the wines for you. But this is a Reserva, uh, but this is a 2010. So let's give it a go. And I'm using what my favorite glasses are now. The Vivid range from uh, Short Suizel, multi glasses. And these are great, they're stemless. It's great, you know, when you eat this Teochew dish, typically the dish is in the middle and you're sort of like going back and forth. So you don't want to be tipping over stem glasses, right? Let's taste the wine first. I smell graphite just like you would in a Bordeaux wine. It's amazing, it smells like Bordeaux. Red fruit, not black fruit, so it's not smell Cabernet somewhere. Maybe it reminds me a little bit of a Cabernet from. Mm, quite high in acidity, dry, but very, very fine powdery tannins. It makes your mouth do that, but in a very nice way slight cherry, red cherries. Let's try it a bit with a bit of pork. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. Tannins cleanses it, grips the mouth, makes the meat taste so, so smooth. And the dish has smoothened out the wines even more so where you hardly, hardly feel tannins. Excellent. And we move on to the next wine. I'm so excited after that first wine. 
because the second wine is totally different. It's a brand new wine released in collaboration with the talented winemaker of Chateau de Julus, Fubé de Bois. And they have made this wine called Song by Bong. It's a collaboration between this lady named uh, Bong, who's uh, Vietnamese, French, and, uh, and Ube de Bois. And it's made on the right bank. Um, and it's, I believe, almost 100% Merlot, or, or at least Merlot dominant. It's a brand new wine, it's the first vintage ever. I tasted the wine once and I enjoyed it and I wanted to see would it work with this dish. Again, it is a Merlot based wine, so let's give it a try. So this is, in contrast, a very young vintage. This is only 2019 and you can see the colour is much, much darker, a much brighter red. Oh, straight away you get those plums black fruit rather than red fruit. Bit of greenness in there, uh, herbaceousness. And they're like, like, you smell freshly cut grass, you sort of get that kind of smell. Not in a bad way, but in a nice way. Mm. Mm. Much fuller, richer than the real harm. Fruitier, definitely way, way fruitier, obviously. Younger vintage, again, black fruit, plums, dark cherries, black cherries rather. And I'm not getting much tannin actually, funny enough, I'm not getting much tannin. Maybe slightly short, but let's see, let's see whether it works. And we'll get some duck, just like last time. Hmm. It actually brings out the tannin rather than but the first wine. The tannin sort of like went away. This one sort of brought out the tannin, but in a nice way. But definitely you feel that mouth puckering. They say the lips, you know, stick stick your lips together. It brings that out rather than takes it away, which is quite a contrast from this. Very interesting. Very nice. Uh, it works too. So a young Merlot from France uh, on the right bank works with the braised duck. Uh, braised pork and aged reserva from Rioja definitely works as well. Very interesting. So, which wine do I think works better? I think they both work, uh, but I maybe it's a little bit unfair, but I would give it to the Spanish, the Vina Adanza from La Rioja Alta. It's 12 years old this year, so it's got a bit of age in it. It's very, very elegant and it maybe works a tad better with the dish. Like I say, it smoothens out the wine, the dish smoothens out the wine. The wine adds another element to the dish and actually makes the dish slightly even more sweeter, if you will. Not, not, not sweet, sweet, but actually brings out the sweetness in the meat or maybe the sauce. Song by Bong, beautiful. I think it needs more time. It's an elegant wine, it has great potential. You can taste the fruit and all that. And even with the dish right now, having it is enjoyable. Totally contrast, the dish brings out the tannin in the wine. But again, like I said, in a nice way, not in an offensive way. But like I say, this is 12 years old. This is only 20, 21, three years old. Big difference, right? Vina Danza, available on dineout.com. If you ask me, it's a steal. It's only going for 250 ringgit, right? 12 years old, elegant, elegant. Very, very, very elegant. Extremely elegant. Beautiful wine. Song by Bong, by Chateau des Songs. It's 360 ringgit. Uh, a little bit pricey, but definitely a wine to look out for. If you want to buy it now, lay it down, maybe buy a case or buy six bottles, lay down some. This could be a real dark horse. And I believe this wine has great, great, great potential. And as I always say, uh, we look forward to seeing you all back here at this channel again. And if you have anything that you would like me to try and match wines with, please do leave us a comment down below and let us know, you know. Or if you think there's a better wine that works with the Teochew Braised Duck and you think I should have tried that, let me know as well and we'll be more than happy to try it next time, right? If not, I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thank you.